The proper camber settings on a vehicle will improve road isolation and directional stability of the vehicle. Incorrect camber settings will cause tire wear and handling problems. Camber is defined as inward or outward tilt of the wheel at the top when viewed from the front of the vehicle. Camber is measured in degrees. A wheel with zero degrees camber is vertical. When a wheel tilts outward at the top, it has positive camber. And when a wheel is tilted inward at the top, it has negative camber. A slight amount of negative camber is normal since the top of the tires will move out with speed. Where a camber is adjustable, it is usually adjusted using shims or cams on the upper control arms. Camber is usually not adjustable on front-wheel drive cars. Where it is, the adjustment is made by moving the position of the front strut in its mount. The primary functions of caster are to improve directional stability and steering wheel returnability. Incorrect caster angles can cause excessive steering effort and tire wear. Caster is the forward or rearward tilt of the steering axis compared to a vertical line viewed from the side of the wheel. Caster is measured in degrees and is positive when the top of the steering axis is tilted rearward. Caster is negative when the top of the steering axis is tilted forward. If you're troubleshooting a caster problem on a front-wheel drive car, Remember that some manufacturers do not provide for a caster adjustment on some of today's front-wheel drive vehicles. If the caster requires correction, an aftermarket kit is often available. Prior to attempting a caster adjustment on a suspension that does not have a factory adjustment, inspect the suspension for bent or damaged parts and replace them to correct out-of-spec conditions. Adding and removing shims on the upper control arms will correct both camber and caster on most rear-wheel drive cars. The most critical alignment angle is total toe on the steering axle. Excessive positive or negative toe will cause scuffing and wear on the shoulders of the tires. Total toe is defined as the difference in distance measured across the front of the tires compared to the distance measured across the rear of the tires and is measured in inches or millimeters. Total toe may also be defined as an angular measurement in degrees or in degrees and minutes. Toe is positive or toe in when the front of the tires are closer together than the rear of the tires. Toe is negative or toe out when the rear of the tires are closer together than the front of the tires. Zero toe occurs when the wheels are parallel. Toe is adjusted with the tie rod end adjusters. The steering wheel can also be centered using this adjustment. Steering axis inclination and included angle are often used as diagnostic tools. Steering axis inclination, or SAI, is defined as the angle formed by a line drawn through the upper and lower pivot points and a vertical line from the center base of the tire when viewed from the front of the vehicle. SAI is measured in degrees. We've defined camber as the inward or outward tilt of the top of the tire when viewed from the front. Camber is usually specified positive on the front wheels. So, included angle is the combination of SAI and camber. Large side-to-side -side differences in SAI or included angle may indicate damaged suspension components. On McPherson strut suspension systems, an incorrect SAI angle may indicate that the upper strut mount is out of position or that the lower control arm is bent, or that the cross member has shifted or is damaged. When SAI angles are unequal on the left and right sides, serious handling concerns can occur.
These problems include excessive torque steer, steering pull during stops, or bump steer that pulls the car to one side during suspension jounce and rebound.